Well, just to show you, it's snowing a little bit outside. And we got deer in my yard. Well, the guy's heart yard next to mine. That's one of the joys of living in a mountain valley. You get to watch the deer. Time to play with some clay. Well, a couple of days away from it, and uh, it hasn't fallen. <laughs> I'm just going to be filling in holes and such I got to uh, do that no matter what because of the uh, casting process but uh, this just makes it easier for me to see what the heck I'm doing now the light is so low that uh, my light uh, swing arm lamp is so low that it uh, it's going to be hit every once in a while by my head but I can't do anything about that I just got to live with that because that's the only way I can see what the heck I'm doing now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in between the foot and the robe because that's a blank area that needs to be filled in This is going to make it a lot easier for them to make a mold of it and to pull the, the mold apart uh, once they do make it. They're, what they do is they make a latex rubber mold of the sculpture. And uh, it, it's flexible, but uh, it's... There's a limit to how flexible it is when you start getting deep cuts into the uh, sculpture. One of the things I need to do is define that leg in there, and I'm going to have to put my magnifiers on to do that. I've got to do that for the uh, patina person because they have to know where the leg ends and the uh, robe begins. So when they color the uh, bronze, they can color it properly and not overlap the leg. Three D printing uh, by some artists give you a great view of what the muscles look like, and I'm looking for the muscles on the inside of the the leg of the horse, as you can see right there.
when you're a sculptor you have to work from every angle <laughs> even upside down okay that's the muscles I wanted to get on that part I'm not gonna worry about the muscle here until I get the thing back upright and I can reach in there properly Okay, I'm reaching in behind that leg. It looks like I'm right next to the leg, but I'm not. I'm at the edge of the uh, clay of the uh, blanket, and I've got to smooth that out and blend it into the body of the horse. So now I think you can see why I put everything upside down. People always ask me what happens to the armature when they make a mold of the uh, clay and uh, they make a mold around they include the armature in the uh, mold but what they do is they uh, it comes out in wax just like it is here and all they do is just cut it off right there at the belly and uh, they blend in the hole that's left by the uh, armature and you'll never know that there was an armature ever there. That's the beauty of sculpting in bronze. Well, as you can see, I've uh, placed the horse back the way it should be, and I'm going to take the supports away that uh, held it upside down, and I'll be right back. All right, it's time to get this uh, guy back on to the sculpting stand, and uh, I've just centered the horse on my center mark. All right, I'm happy with uh, how that turned out. All right, I'm going to get set up and start working on the uh, horse's head, and I'll do that uh, in just a couple minutes. I need to emphasize the muscles in the neck. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to turn off the cameras because I've got that covered in my videos on uh, instructional DVDs that I have. You can find a, a link to a review of all those DVDs down below. I'll be back. Well, I'm running out of time today, so I'm going to call it quits for now. I'm going to be putting the uh, 
lady back on to the uh, sculpture because I got I have a bunch of people coming tomorrow. But I'll probably do that tomorrow sometime. I've got the other side of the head to work on. I've been working on this head, side of the head for about an hour or so. So I'm just uh, putting the finishing touches on this side so I can get started on the other side. After a couple years sitting in the studio, it's been banged around and it just needed some adjustments here and there. So with that, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of a lighter fluid. My finger is nut. My this nut finger is numb, and that finger is numb. And let me tell you, it is painful today. It, it stings like crazy to work. And that's not the reason why I'm quitting. I just have no further I can go today without uh, taking another couple hours. And I need to get uh, the video out for tonight. I'm happy the way this face has turned out. You just got to do the same thing on the other side. Once I get uh, both sides done, then I can start putting the mane on. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.